Well, well, well. And Mr. Dover. I have a bone to pick with you again. I guess you don't learn the first time. Once and for all, you need to listen to me. Amaya is mine. She will never belong to you. Why would she ever love you? You don't scare me and I'm not scared of you. She will belong to me and she will never belong to you. And I would really appreciate if you stop staring at my girl. First off, what the heck do you want, Kane? Second off, she doesn't belong to anybody. And she isn't your girl. And third off, I can stare at whoever the heck I want to. You can't tell me who I can and can't stare at. Also, I'm not afraid of you and your stupid little goblin over there. I think you're going to want to take that back. Make me. That's for disrespecting me and my friend. You will stay away from Amaya, no matter what. I will kill you if you even try to touch her. She does not belong to you and she'll never belong to you. Why would she want somebody like you? You don't matter. You're just like the rest of them. You don't matter. And <laughs> what is this? Your stupid poetry? You'll never make it in the world, Salem. You never will. You're just a piece of garbage. That's all you are. And a mile will never love you. I'll be sitting on a high throne, being in love with her, while you're sitting here writing that stupid garbage and making nothing of your life. Don't disrespect me again. Because this time, I hit you. The next time, I slit your throat. Come on. Stupid Cain and his stupid little goblin. Ow. Isn't the first time this happened? And it's not going to be the last time. You can try to keep Amaya all to yourself. But she's never going to be with you. If I was her, I would never be with you, Cain. And you're never going to get her. She doesn't even like you. She's just a stuck up brat. I hate him. Thinks he can get whatever he wants. Hello. I think it'd be a really good idea if I explain, you know, what just happened here. My name is Salem. Salem Dover. And what you just witnessed was... Something... Well... That happens to me every day. It's a reoccurring occurrence. That brown, reddish, Great Dane, that would be Cain. And he's pretty much after me every single day. About the girl who was standing by the lockers a few minutes ago. The blonde and blue-eyed cat. One of my crushes, at least. You see, I'm in love with two people. Or, well, 
I guess you could say in love and have a crush on two people. I'm still deciding which one I like more. But when I go to school, that is who I see. For Kane, he is really in love with her or something. I think he really only wants to date her because she is classified as the wealthy type. Her family has a business, and she's very, very wealthy. That's the only reason that he's in love with her. Me, not so much. I don't care about the wealth. That's the least of my concern. But he has always been in love with her. And always thinks that he's better than me at everything. And his little goblin. Well... We don't really need to say his name. Eventually, one day, you'll figure out. He pretty much just follows Kane like a lost puppy. But, yeah. Pretty much, this is what I have to go through every single day. Stupid Kane. Stupid school. Stupid everything. I think the only thing that keeps me sane in this school is Amaya. Sadly, I don't think she knows who the heck I even am. She never really ever knows who I am or even pays attention to me. Or even sees that I kind of stare at her. I don't mean to stare at her. I'm not trying to be creepy or anything. I don't know. What to do. But school isn't the worst place. That is far beyond the worst place in my life. There's one worser place than school. And that would be home for me. Pretty much home for me is a psychotic nightmare. At the end of the school day, Salem, you're home. You're a little late, but yeah, your father wants to see you. It's urgent. I'm not entirely sure what he wants, but yeah. He wanted to see you a few minutes ago, but I told him you weren't here, and I don't think he's happy that you are a bit late. <sighs> what does he want from me now? Can I have one day where I come home from school and not have to talk to him? Ugh. Fine. And dinner will be ready in a few minutes. Ugh, I don't care. Over my dead body, would that ever happen? Not happen. Hold on. Come in. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. Yes. Yes. Can I call you back, please? Okay. Bye. Salem, where the heck have you been? I've been waiting like 20 minutes to talk to you. Where the heck have you been? Where do you think I've been? I've been at school this entire time. I'm sorry it took me so long to get out of class to talk to you. Now what the heck do you want? I don't got all day to sit here and talk to you. Every single day after school, you think I have to come in here and talk to you. What do you want to talk to me about? That is no way to talk to your father. Don't you ever talk to me like that again. Now listen, I know that you're going to be graduating high school and whatever. 
but you're not going to be needing any of that information because you're not going to college anyway. You're going to be taking over my business. The crime business and the mafia business. You are to be the next crime boss and next mafia boss. And you know this. And you will be amazing at it. I don't know why you don't have your gun on you right now. Somebody could have killed you. Walking out of that school. Maybe you haven't been to one for very long, but guns are prohibited in school. I can't have one. Besides, if somebody shoots me, that's not all my problem. That's their problem. What do you want from me? Also, I don't want to be the next crime boss and mafia boss. I have other things to do in life. Can I go to college like somebody else? I don't want to be stuck in this stupid business. I have no interest in crime, and I have no interest in being a mafia boss. What if I die? Would you really care? I don't want to be the next one, and I will never be the next one. What did you just say? Please tell me what the heck you just said. Right now. I guess I'll say it again because you're clearly death. I don't want to be in the crime business and I don't want to be a mafia boss. I want neither of it. I'm leaving now. I don't care what you got to say. I'm not being any of them. I will be something greater than what you will be. I'm leaving now. I don't want the police and every freaking person after me. I'm done. I'm leaving. Salem, you get right back here. We're not done with this conversation. Get back here. Come back. You better come back here. I will kill you, Salem. Get back here. You need to understand that this is your new life and whatever life you think you're living is not going to help you. You will be a mafia and crime boss whether you like it or not, Salem. That is your life and that is the life that you will know and only know. Salem, I... Oh, I really hope he's okay. I really hope he wasn't too hard on him. The poor boy. So yeah, we got a meeting tomorrow and some other stuff, but hopefully it will go well and everything and stuff like that. So, yep. Okay, I'll definitely be there for the meeting. Uh, can you give us a second, please? I can talk to you later, though. Yeah, yeah, sure, that's fine. Uh, come on. Okay, bye. Yeah, bye. I'll talk to you later. Uh, hi, Salem. Hey, Salem. What's going on? Hey, Viper. Nothing much. I just wanted to come and see you. I needed to get away from my father for a few minutes. Ugh, I hate that man so much. I know, I know, and you won't have to live with him for much longer. You'll be graduating high school soon. Well, in about another year. And then you'll be graduating and you won't have to worry about ever being in the household again. So, yep, and then you can go off to college or whatever else you wanted to do. <sighs> Hopefully. I just want to get out of the house and everything. I don't want to be... A mafia leader or a crime lord. I don't want any of that. I want to be an author and he just can't understand that. I like writing books about crime and other stuff like that, but I don't want to be in it. I don't want cops running after me every day. It's stupid. Hey, hey, calm down, calm down. I understand that. But you don't gotta work yourself up with this. It's gonna be okay. <sighs> Hopefully you're right, Viper. Uh, is Rain okay? Huh? Oh, 
Yeah, she's fine. I don't know what she's been doing. She's been looking at her phone a lot. I don't know if she's got, like, something she's got to do or what. Maybe you want to go over and talk to her? I mean, I'm fine sitting here and waiting. Or I can go with you. I'll be fine. Just stay here for a second. Hey, Rain. Huh? Hey, Rain. I'm sorry if I startled you. I didn't mean to do that. I just wanted to come over and see if you were okay. I know I don't talk to you as much as I do with Viper, and I know I'm not as close to you as I am with Viper, but I still care about you, and I still wanted to make sure you were okay, because usually you're not on your phone. Usually you're zoned out looking at stuff. And there's nothing wrong with that or anything. I just wanted to make sure you were okay because I do care about you even though you're not, you know, even though we're not related or I don't know you very well. You're kind of like a sister that I never had. So, yeah, I just wanted to make sure you were okay and everything. And I'm pretty sure Viper is worried about you as well. But I just wanted to come over and see if you were okay because you didn't look like you were okay. But if you are okay, then... That's good too, I just wanted to make sure that everything's, you know, like, going good for you and everything like that, so, yeah. Well, I appreciate you for coming and checking up on me, but I'm fine. I really am. You don't have to worry about me, I'll be okay. And, yeah, I've just been doing some things on my phone recently. Not too important, but, yeah, you can go back over and talk to Viper, you don't have to talk to me. Little old me, but you can go talk to Viper. I'll be fine. But thank you for coming and checking up on me anyways. That's very kind of you. And yeah, I know we're not very close, but you're kind of like a second brother to me. So yeah, but go ahead. Talk to Viper. I'm pretty sure that's what you wanted to do. But thank you very much, Salem. And um, yeah, so I'll go back to what I was doing, but... Don't sneak up on me like that next time. You could have gave me a heart attack. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I won't do that again, but see you, Rain. Ciao.